to Uncle Henry, who's mighty handy making us happy in this century. The Langdons. <laughs> Say, that's pretty good. Yes, sir, that's pretty good. Yes, it is. What are you waiting for, a sweater? Yes, oh, I think I'll eat some of that popcorn. Well, can't you wait until after Christmas? <laughs> hey, how are you doing, son? Here, let me. Uncle Henry, I'm doing it. Yeah, I know, but this is a mighty important job. You see, this is Jesus in the manger. And the wise men have got to be placed just so. All right. Come in. Oh. Hey, don't stand there like a dummy, you dummy. Shut the door before we all get froze to death. What? Shut the door. I said, shut the door. Keep that thing off. Oh. Hiram, don't tell me that all those Yep. Managers... Got another sled full of gifts for Uncle Henry. Even bigger than that one. Gee, Willikers, look at all those packages out there. I never seen anybody get so many Christmas presents. Well, where do you want I should put them, Uncle Henry? <laughs> you just toss them in my sleigh. I'll get rid of them. Oh. Look out for the snow out there now. I should have told him about that slippery place. <laughs> See here. There. Now, uh, that's the Star of Bethlehem. That was the guiding light of the wise men. And they followed it and came to where Jesus was. And there was plenty of rejoicing, my boy. Why? Well, because the angel sang, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Where are you going to open all those packages, Uncle Henry? <laughs> I ain't. I aim to give them away where they'll do the most good. But, Uncle Henry, that don't make sense. If you don't open them to find out what's in them, how are you ever going to know what you're giving to who? Yeah, that's just it, son. If I give you something you like, that makes you glad and me glad. But if I give you something you don't like, then you've got to find somebody else to give it to. See? And you're happy, he's happy. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Hey, here we go. Thanks, James. That's all right. Hurry back. It's all right, Jimmy. It sounds crazy to me, too. But somehow, with Uncle Henry, it always turns out all right. Somebody must have left them while you were out. I haven't been out. I reckon you didn't hear the bell. Well, I've got to be moving along. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm. 
Merry Christmas. <laughs> What's merry about it? For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, and suddenly... Granny, why didn't they take Mary to the hospital? Well, uh, everything was crowded. Besides, all babies aren't born in hospitals, you know. Was you born in a manger? <laughs> no, darling. And I dare say that very few babies are. Is Uncle Henry? I really don't know. But sometimes I wonder. Come right in, Mary. Howdy, folks. This is Mary. Mary, this is the Wayne tribe. Mighty fine people. Is his name Jesus? Uh, uh, mm. No, his name is John. Cute little nipper lady. Uh, Mary and the baby are sort of a, well, they're a surprise Christmas present I picked up for Mrs. Jackson. For Mrs. Jackson? Yep. But you know how she feels about children. Granny, that's because you don't understand Mrs. Jackson. Why, she'll be tickled plumb to death to have them around. Betcha. And, uh, seeing as how we can't, uh, present them to her until Christmas morning, why, they'll stay here tonight. But, Uncle Henry, where in the world are we going to put them? Why, uh, uh put, put them in my room. I'll curl up here and, uh, sort of greet Santa Claus when he comes down the chimney in the morning. Granny, you show Mary and the baby to my room, will you? Go right along with Granny. <laughs> uh, and the little fellow's powerful hungry. Would you uh, warm up some milk for him, huh? <laughs> James, there's another big bag out in my sled. Will you get it for me, huh? Come on, son. It's time to go to bed. Come, good night. Night, Fanny. Night, Uncle Henry. 
Sleep tight, my boy. <laughs> now, see here, Uncle Henry. Goodness knows I've always been charitably inclined. But where on earth did you ever pick up this... this girl? And where is her husband, if she ever had one? Yeah. Her clothes are a bit shabby. But her soul ain't. And our heart shouldn't be. Can't you see she's just starving for friendship? Well, what do you stand there like a parent in for? Tomorrow's a big day. Ain't you got a lot of preparing to do? Come on, you two. Now, scat. Yes, sir. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. A mighty big day. Oh, Mary, why don't you see what Santa Claus has brought you? Me? But I, well, I didn't... Somebody must have sent him a special message because I saw the baby's name on some tags under that Christmas tree. Go on. That one's from Uncle Henry. Wonderful. I, I don't know what... <laughs> don't to... say another word about it. Merry Christmas, Mary. For me? But I... Oh, oh, oh it isn't much. I hope this will fit you, dear. If not, we can alter it. Yeah. Uh, I'll go and bring the baby in and see if some of those things are fit him. <laughs> sure a mighty fine Christmas. you switching tags on my presence to Anne and... Shh! Leave my... Trade them for something else anyway. Thank you so much. This is a wonderful Christmas. And bless Uncle Henry, who has shown us the real Christmas spirit. We pray in the name of him whose birthday we celebrate. Amen. Amen. Morning, I'm Are you hungry? Mm, I sure am. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, both of good breakfast this morning. Oh, we will. Would you like another egg? I wouldn't care for another egg. I'm going to take it. What's your hurry, Uncle Henry? Are you expecting somebody? Hurry? <laughs> no, I ain't expecting anybody. Just don't want to tarry too long and maybe miss a Christmas service. Well, I wonder who that can be. 
Never mind, James. I'll go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, I I'm freezing. I, I haven't any gas. No heat. No gas? Well, well, well. That's mighty strange. Now, how do you suppose that ever happened? Did I hear a baby? Yep, and you're just in time for breakfast. Oh, no thanks, no. I don't want to disturb you, but I was so cold. <laughs> what you need is a hot cup of coffee. Come right on in. Oh, thank you. Good morning, Mrs. Jackson. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Jackson. Now, you sit right down there. And set a plate for Mrs. Jackson, will you? And bring in a hot cup of coffee. Now, Mrs. Jackson, this is Mary. And over here is Johnny. He's a cute little tyke. That means Merry Christmas. I love you, too. <laughs> well, everything's all right. I'll just skip along here now and see what I can do about heating up your flesh. 